All right, hello everyone, and welcome to what I will I would go as far to call it the first major game release of 2015. We have some some minor ones up to now, but I think this is the first real major release that people have been looking forward to. A game that a lot of people uh, have been hyping. Uh, from supposedly from the makers of Dead Island. Now that could be a good thing or that could be a bad thing. The reason I say that is because Dead Island One, I very much enjoyed doing as a four-player co-op playthrough with a few of my friends years ago. Dead Island Two, not so much. It actually was quite a disappointing game because it played exactly like the first one and really didn't have anything new to it. So Dying Light, from what I'm to understand, is basically supposed to be an improved version of say the survival horror first person zombie apocalypse it is only on next gen which is interesting to to hear that the the game developers for dying light said we are going to limit this game to only be on next gen consoles we feel those are the only consoles that can handle it for what we want in fact they were designing it for the the previous gen and xbox 360 and ps3 and during development decided to cancel those versions that they just weren't coming out the way that they had planned okay so that's interesting to me, to see that they would make that kind of a choice. Uh, obviously limiting their customer base, but at the same time they're striving to put out the best product possible, so it might be a good choice. Alright. So let's find out what happens uh, here with this game. It's been a while, it's actually been a while since we've had a, a, a zombie survival horror apocalypse style game. When you think about it, the uh, you know 2012-2013 were very heavy, heavy with those kind of releases. But 2014, we pretty much kind of stepped away from that. I think zombies may have kind of gotten out of the popularity uh, in the limelight, the spotlight. And now we're coming back to it with Dying Light. So let's start gabbing. Uh, let's start gabbing. Let's stop gabbing. Without further ado, let's jump into the game and let's see exactly what it's about. I want to warn everyone, I have not booted the game fully yet, so I don't know what the volume levels are. We're going to adjust them on the fly and see what happens. So if they are, the game's too loud or low or whatever, I will adjust it. <laughs> All right, here we go. What? Fictitious? You mean to tell me there's no real zombie apocalypse? Damn! I thought this was historically accurate. The eyes of the world have been glued to the city of Haran for the past two months, Haran. following the outbreak of a previously unknown pathogen. Mm. It is not yet clear what has caused this gruesome affliction. The local government's Ministry of Defense erected a quarantine wall shortly after the outbreak. The global relief effort's steady stream of supply drops has sustained what few survivors remain in the city. The Ministry of Defense believes more radical action should be taken to stem the tide of this virus. We need radical the question action! Is, are there still non-infected survivors in the city as the GRE maintains? And if so, will the Ministry still go through with a stated plan to annihilate the city huh. in an attempt to wipe out the Haran virus once and for all? Whether by way of the virus or the Ministry's proposed plan, one thing is certain. Haran's days are numbered. <laughs> We need a totally tubular response to the zombie outbreak. Radical action required. Cowabunga, dudes. Where is Haran supposed to be, I wonder? Is this a hypothetical of a, of a you know, Europe? Is it the Middle East? Is it, I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. All right, let's make sure that we've got the uh, we've got the proper things going on here. I don't want this on. Off. Oh, there we go. I hate because because unfortunately I wear headphones when I play these games and I can't hear the stuff coming out of the, the the controller and you won't be able to hear it properly either. The mic doesn't pick it up well. All right, subtitles on. All right, here we go. Let's make sure that's saved. It did. Okay, good. Uh, does it have any brightness adjustments? The gamma. We're gonna up the gamma a little bit. Usually that helps. Alright. Play campaign. New game. Do I get to create my character? I guess not. Here we go. HUD activated. 
commence briefing. Oh, it was Data spy? on the subject, Kadir Suleiman, a local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. You are a spy. A secret agent. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the virion structure. In the attempt to Whee! use it, resulted in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Oh, so radio overcomes Suleiman jams. Suleiman has gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. Interesting. So you're basically a government agent sent in to extract someone and find out about supposedly this this either the virus or a cure. Okay. What the hell? He immediately broke I his told leg. You that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs. Then take him to rides. Oh great. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them. Wow, that was dumb. Oh Fall shit. Back. Fall back! Oh boy! Here they come! Oh, he's immediately eaten! Well, can we officially say this operation was botched? <laughs> Pretty bad beginning here. Oh boy. Get the door open. Oh shit. That's it for him. Of course, the young, attractive woman who saves you is uh, the survivor here. <laughs> Bites on one arm. Oh shit, Amir's hurt? No. Amir is gone. But I'm bringing in someone who might still survive. One of us? We'll see. Hmm. Well, what a failed drop. Seriously. <laughs> We're gonna drop in one guy for stealth reasons. Oops, they saw the shoot. He immediately got fucked up. <laughs> Alright, so locate Suleiman and intercept the file. The process detailed in the file is incomplete and if implemented in its current state, toxic. Any attempt to use it will result in countless lives lost, so it must be recovered. Huh. Amir, MVP of the game. Dead already. You pinch him. You're scared. I'm not scared. Then pinch him. He blinked! What? He blinked again! What if he's a zombie? Ah! Zombie! Run! <sighs> Shit in my head. Oh, I can finally control the game. Alright, here we go. Appears to be 30 frames per second, by the way. 
Ah, Jade the Scorpion Aldemir. Meet the three-time kickboxing world champion, and that looks like the girl who saved me. So I guess she's a kickboxer, huh? Eh, things don't look too bad from up here. I think, actually, L.A. looks worse. <laughs> Real-life L.A. looks worse. Certainly more smog. Some jeans. Couch that I was sleeping on. What do we got here? Hans the Third and Evil Massacre. Alien zombies from Mars closer than you think. All right. Family photos that are all like kind of blurry, right? No, actually, some of them are actually pretty good. Hmm. Bed on the floor. Whoa, it's dark in here. There's another, the same poster. Apparently this girl likes herself so much that she, uh, hangs multiple posters in her house here. Where's the lights? There's no light switch in the bathroom? It's dark as fuck in here. You can't turn on a light? I can't see shit. I gotta take a shit. But there's no light switch in the bathroom. I got shit in the dark. Shit in the dark. Okay. Turn on the radio. Oh, fuck that. What's it gonna be? Hold on, let's hear it. <laughs> My milkshake brings all the zombies to the yard. No. Turn that shit off. Oh, little doggy. Little chihuahua. Chihuahua. Okay. More pictures. Beautiful scenery. This is the kitchen, huh? I hear someone walking around the hallway, you hear that? What, ham? Ham in a can? It must be spam. It's supposed to be spam. Microwave. Oh, okay, circle ducks. I'm trying to learn the controls. You are in a safe area. R1 jumps. That is an odd button for jump. That is not a usual control for jump. Nothing else does anything right now. Okay. Okay, so what do I do? Uh-oh. This makes me nervous. Oh, Christ. You sleep for three days like a dead man and scare children? Off to a great start, 31. <laughs> In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The boss will brief you. What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. Hmm. Ask the boss. Alright. So people have said to turn the sound up. I could turn it up a little bit if it's low. I don't, you know, again, I don't know what the volume level is in the new game. I'll turn it up a little bit here. Hopefully this will help. Go see the boss in room 190. Don't talk to me, this guy. Let's chase these children. 18, I guess this is the 18th floor. What kind of a building is this? Apartment building? 31. That's your number. Salma? Hello, Salma. Excuse me? Your number. You're the 31st infected. I'm the 18th. Everything is counted here. Huh. One fewer doses of antizen. One more new infected. One more runner gone. Okay. How many are here? Damn. Who's this guy? Uh, he's a big burly man with no shirt. And a sick woman. Oh, no. That's not nice. Probably his girlfriend or, or relative or something. What does it say? The Haran Weekly. It's time to elect our future. Who's the best presidential candidate? Look at my feet. You can see your feet. Doop -a -doo, doop -a -doo, doop -doo, -a -doo. Teddy bear. Little runt kid kicking a can around. Keep that can to yourself, kid. You won't be playing soccer anytime soon in the zombie apocalypse. 
Let's face the uh, inevitable here. To get to the drops first. So who's going? Amir died because of this guy. Quiet. But oh, fuck quiet. Now he's gonna get Amir's anti scene. Okay. So I guess they're a little pissed that uh, Amir died because of me. Hey, where's room 190? Upstairs. That sounds like Nolan North. Are you kidding me? Don't tell me that's Nolan North as the main character's voice actor. We're just getting picked off one by one. Sick bay. And you are? Crane. Uh, 31. Oh, right. Um, how's your head? My head? Got it. Listen up. Until the boss says so, you are not on the list. So go talk to him ASAP and let's get things moving. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hmm. Okay. So, I can up the volume a little bit more if it needs it. So people who are watching on stream, please let me know. Uh, but let's continue. Let's head upstairs to see what we find. So far, the detail of the graphics is pretty nice. Look at that. Look how detailed that uh, you know, spray paint tagging is. Headquarters is that way. What's this way? What's this? Pack of smokes. Still his smokes. The workshop. Khalik, what the hell is a hold up? Alfie, I'm working on it, alright? Look, I can't do shit till they get new bolts from downstairs. Okay. 19th floor, what do they do here? Oh, open. You can open this? No, yeah, door's locked. What about this door? This one doesn't have the option. <clears throat> it's the guard's room, 190, or 194. Whoa! Take this, look, there's a bridge and the bridge is out. It's actually completely out, like it fell down or something. Huh. This guy. Dude, there's a hundred of these posters of this kickboxing chick. I guess they really want to emphasize that she's a kickboxer. It's probably going to come into play later. Alright. Can't go in any of these doors. Just have to go into the headquarters, I guess. Unless you go further up. Nope, it's blocked off. Conveniently blocked by this uh, <clears throat> armoire. Alright, looks like we're going to go into headquarters and see uh, who the boss is.